Hey, so let's talk about one of the big use cases for IDP. That's self-service and granting access to resources, onboarding new applications, really getting away from those JIRA ticket processes or IMing the right person on Slack or whatever it is, getting it to where someone can go request something, processes are carried out and they're able to get their resources ASAP. So give you a quick example here. I have a couple different ideas here, kind of like, hey, code spaces, uh, documentation templates, access to MongoDB. Uh, an example I'm going to show you here is where I'm going to create a Python Lambda app. So let's just take the case of we're pretty consistently creating new services for different needs over time. And what we need to do is we need to be able to kind of have our standards, our templates, all those things uh, turnkey for the developers immediately rather than having them put it together from scratch, go get the Git repo, go get the deployment pipeline set up, just have that all immediately handed to them. So I'm just going to call this project alpha here as my example. And what I'll do is I'll walk you through how this actually will build this out and have it all ready for me to deploy immediately. So in here, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to AWS and I'm going to have my group own it. And this will create all the different components for me, all the basic stuff I need to get up and running. So you'll see here, this will use our harness pipelines as it's backing and its ability to run and build out different components. So I'll go ahead and jump over here so you can see what's happening as it builds it out. So what this is going to do for me is it's going to create a Git repo. It's going to use cookie cutter to put code in there. It's going to set up my CI CD pipelines here. It's going to really do everything for me. So in theory, I could run this and I could immediately start deploying my app. Now, the business logic would still need to be inserted to really make it meaningful. But this means I'm not held up with very basic stuff that's pretty low value in terms of the actual work. So you can see here, we've created the cookie cutter. This uses using a Python scaffolding, uh, create a Git repo. We have a catalog entry. So also this will be accounted for in our broader IDP context. We're pushing code. We're making some updates to it as well to kind of put all the different pieces in place. And this will mean we have this all tracked with an IDP. And now it's doing an apply with Terraform to build out harness pipelines. So if I go right over here and I'll show you the actual repo itself while we're waiting for it to complete the harness elements. But you can see here, I have my project alpha repo. I have my various workflows, manifests, all that stuff already here. I have my Lambda function ready to go. And if I switch back to harness, you'll be able to see here as we're completing our build out, we've already applied it. I can go ahead and look at my project view. You'll see my new project alpha here is already ready to go. And I could even do my build and deploy immediately. So you'll see, I have my ability to run my build here, create it, up upload it to S3. I can deploy it here to my Lambda function immediately. So I'm not having to talk to CICD folks to get this wired up. I'm not having to do the build out for the build process. That's all ready for me to go. Now, if I switch to the catalog view, I will also see this over here as well. We go to the catalog and we just look for our project alpha. You'll see right here. We have things built out with like dependencies in this case. I have something I put in there, uh, but you could have it programmatically build a dependency graph as well and make sure that's inserted in there. Just kind of depends on what inputs you want to provide at the beginning. Uh, you'll notice I have CI and CD separate here. So for one, we have the ability to integrate with Harness E. So once I start deploying here, this will show the executions that are relevant. Uh, but we can also play nice with things like GitHub Actions here. In this case, we have that running in the background. So really a whole bunch of different components all tied together here uh, in order to be able to just onboard someone quickly, get them up and running.